Good morning. Went on another run and Grant joined me. We're done. Um, he's going back to his apartment. I'm going home. Wait until Sarah and I bring you to this bookstore called Unabridged Bookstore. Shop local. Can't wait to check. It's been so long since we went in there. But I'm following up my run with some breakfast sweets because that's just how Peter Brookhart does it. Stopping at a place that Sarah and I used to go to further in like Wicker Park, but this one opened up near our old apartment right as we were leaving. And I think we've only been to it once, if not maybe ever. I don't know if we, I don't think we've ever been to it. That's right, a Stan's Donuts and Cook Coffee. Coffee. I'm gonna grab some donuts, grab some coffee, maybe a drink for sale. Let's go. Tell you what, there's. I've missed. I didn't realize how much I missed the feeling of just being able to walk to the corner or like on my morning errands and just grab something that's delicious and unique. It stands on so good. Are you kidding? This is what I come home to, Jamesy boy. Hi, I missed you. <laughs> yeah, I love you. You having fun on your mat? Grabbing all your stuff? This is a pistachio glazed donut. Delicious. Excuse the pumping noise in the back. Look at this big kid. Are you showing? You did? He's my did, pal. Did you show that his pants are too short on him now? I just thought they were capris. He's so big. I feel like that's that's our new motto. He's so big. He's so big. This is so good. Right? Evie, you're so beautiful. Like, she's like glorious. Wow. Oh my gosh, and then we have two glazed donuts. And this chocolate deliciousness that looks like it got a little bit melty. Look who still loves their swing, but also loves their new baby banana. It's a, it's a chew toy and a toothbrush. It is a chew toy that James is so gracious enough to share with Eve. Just kidding. Oh, look at this happy boy. His cousins are gonna come over to our apartment tonight and help us unpack some. Oh, she's getting that solo. Um, I'm running a program and so that's gonna take a few minutes. So I'm gonna see if I can get this done while I'm doing it. But how James upgraded to the seat in the bugaboo that was actually not the bassinet. That was our secondary seat that we bought for when we've got two babies. Um, but Grant pointed out something similar or a smart move. He's like, wait, that can explain it too? And I was like, yeah, he's like, well, do you have another seat? Because like, that would be so nice to potentially have like, if Luca and James want to be in the stroller when we're walking around downtown and Violet's like strolling with us. So I'm actually going to swap out the bassinet for the seat, which is actually just this frame. If you remember when we put it together, you keep this frame, you just undo the Velcros. And then they can wash it and put it away for storage until our next baby, which is crazy because like we're already, like newborn stuff is away, this best, and that's about to go away. <laughs> He's too big and happy. He ripped off his socks so he could literally eat his toes. It's his new thing, but I'll let him be his own weird person because I'm going to be my own weird person. Look at that bubble! Oh my gosh. This is the first time that James is letting me have him in the carrier and I'm getting stuff done around the house. Um, it is like 3.15, Christina and the kids and Grant. Yeah, Grant will be coming. Um, I wasn't sure because he does have work tonight. They're gonna come here around, I think they're gonna leave in like, at like 3.30. Um, but we're kind of, it's gonna be a mixture night of like 
organizing things. Christina kind of helping me hold him, helping me with stuff. Kind of three adults on three kids once Grant leaves. But I figured in the meantime, I can start getting stuff done. And he's really actually liking it. Being forward facing. Oh, you like the pop? His eyes are really checking it. Um, so I already freshened up the kitchen. I, I wasn't wearing him, but I washed the floors in the kitchen. And now I'm going to organize the bathroom. We don't have a ton of storage. We need to get some storage that goes in the linen closet because the linen closet doesn't have any shelves, which is really funny. Um, but I don't know, even just now in the kitchen alone, I'm already feeling more like at peace. It's just, you know, the major rooms in your house when they're all disheveled, your mind's disheveled. So feels good already. <laughs> look who came to help us unpack. Yay. Also look at the fun game Luca's playing. Wait for it, wait for it. Charge James. <laughs> Thanks for being such a good helper, Violet. I whipped up a quick little peanut sauce veggie pasta for us. I will link the, what's it called? The recipe below. <laughs> Give him a little more. No, he's got a bunch of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that good? He's Is that good. that rock candy good? You want to switch? Is your baby bottle pop good? Yeah, you want to switch? Can you dunk it in sugar? Yeah, do you know you can dunk it? I just didn't want to do it on your on your. No, you're fine. Roller. No, it's fine. They're made to get dirty. I want to show you, baby, what you can do. Okay. You can dip it in the sugar. Need the sugar off of it. Mm. Is that good? Nice. Look at my crazy hair. How you doing, baby? The Windy City. <laughs> they don't call it the Windy City for nothing. The best part about these and nephews is leftover. <laughs> We're back. Was it fun? Yeah. Did you do have delicious candy? Yeah. What was it called? Did Uncle P drive like a like a <laughs> like a wild animal? <laughs> I'm up here. You are up here. Down here. And Luke was right here. <laughs> he was dozy till he got that rock candy. <laughs> Do you see Santa Claus coming down Santa Claus Lane? Do you see this mound of laundry I'm about to fold? <laughs> so our visitors have left us. James is eating a little snack. And we are continuing our productive night. We just put on yesterday to have on in the background. How many boxes are left, Peter? Zero. Technically one cardboard box. One cardboard box. But, but that one cardboard box only has frames that are going to go on the wall. Oh my gosh. We need to figure out what's going on what wall. We need to organize our living room again. Yes. We, I mean, it, we're at that point where things have to get worse before they get better. But they're so much closer to better. I need to put my hat on for this last big old clip. Because let me tell you, wait, look at Sarah was watching Quiet Man. Classic. I, if you told me when Christina Grant and the kids left that we'd had such a productive night, I would have called malarkey. But I gotta show you, like, we're still far from, well, I mean, we're not insanely far. We still have a lot of work to do. But even just like the work we did today because of Christina Grant coming over, um, 
we, like Sarah said earlier, like we had that, like it gets worse before it gets better. Like I thought it was not gonna get this better even tomorrow, let alone tonight before bed. All right, so we have this little configuration. We are either, we're selling that, we're either gonna sell that or donate or, or throw that chair away. Even though we really love it and it's super comfortable, we just, it doesn't go with this space and it doesn't go in the apartment. There's no space for it in the apartment. Be, and we plan on being here for a while. So like James's tent is gonna go there. And then during the holidays, our tree's gonna go here. So it's just like, it's not the right spot without it being too cluttered. Carpet is a la the Sicards. They lent that to us. So like we still gotta figure this out. Once we like figure out the spacing, cause we're gonna get a second one of these, I can anchor that and we can fill it. But like the table's clear, couch is clear. Check this out. Always clear. Look at this. This is insane. I mean, I mean, there's still work to be done, but the fact that like the table is accessible, like that's the last cardboard box we have. It just has frames. Like so nice that like there's. We see, I see the light in the tunnel, and then even in here, like that can go away probably tomorrow. That can probably go away tomorrow. That if you find a new home, that's got to go away. This has to get put away, but it was the last like hidden kitchen box. I sanitized tonight. Just feels so good. Check it out. Wednesday the 10th. Tomorrow is my 13th anniversary since my back surgery. Right? Spinal fusion. I did two rods and like 14 screws and four hooks or something like that. Today's message is by Fredor Kostoveski. Only the heart knows how to find what is precious. Yes, that is utterly and absolutely true. Thank you for being such a rock star. Thank you for being such a rock star. I can't believe we got as much work done as we did tonight. Yeah, we divided Today and tonight. Conquered. Still a little bit left to do, but I'm ready to hang some stuff. I know, so am I. I think that's really going to make it start like feeling being our cozy in ourselves. Yeah. Good to be home. It's good to be home. our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>